The recording of this race is sponsored by JB Transmission. Specializing in foreign and domestic repairs, trust JB for all your performance needs. Check us out at www.jbtransmission.com or visit us at 256 St. Mary's Road in Winnipeg. This video production is sponsored by RD Sales and Service Limited. We service what others sell. For all mechanical repairs, trust our professionals. RD Sales and Service is a proud sponsor of the number 17 Super Truck and Sprint Car. Position, the reigning and two-time Wazota National Champion out of Headingley, the Derrick's Heavy Truck Parts Allied Roofing, number 7W is Ricky Weiss. Inside of row number five, you just saw him do very well in a super stock. Well, here he is in a late model now, the owner of this racetrack, the Winnipeg Dodge number nine, Walt Morris. Outside in the 54 car is gonna be George Balkin. Inside row six in the 71 car out of the Howock area, this is Stefan Snare in the 71S. And rounding out the field in the McPhillips Toyota freehearingtest.ca, Lucas Oil number 2M, this is Bill Mooney. Well, it looks like the 71 and the 54 have elected to start at the back. We have 20 laps on the board here for your late model feature. Leo Felius will join Mike McCoggan on row number one. Of course, that 77X car being shared in 2012 by Mike McCoggan, who's in the seat tonight, and Rick Lowy, former super truck driver. His super truck is for sale, and Rick brought all his sponsors over to the 77X effort for 2012. And so it'll be Rick Lowy and Mike McCoggan co-driving that car this year. Well, your late model's behind the Winnipeg Dodge Ram. Great looking truck available at Winnipeg Dodge. Ricky Weiss slowing down on the front straightaway in the Avonlea. Derek Sandblasting, New Vision Graphics 7W. That guy's had a tremendous couple of years on the Wizota circuit, taking two championships. And, well, you can't do any better than that. That guy races full time and does a great job. All right, 20 on the board here as we get set to go late model racing. Ricky Weiss still a little bit off the pace, not quite sure what the situation is there. Oh, okay, there is no problem. Apparently there was some debris on the racetrack and that's what Ricky was telling our officials, so. They're checking things out in turn one and two. Don't see it in anything in anybody's hand, but. So we should have 12 late models set to go here for your feature event. This is a feature that we were gonna run last Thursday at the All-Star Circuit of Champions sprint car race, but we're unable to do that. We do have a curfew of 11 o'clock now here at Red River Co-op Speedway, so we need to get done as close to 11 o'clock as possible each and every night from now on. Don't forget, great food available at the concession area. If you're hungry or thirsty, grab yourself some to eat at the concession area. All right, now the lap board's reading 15, so we're only doing 15? Okay, 15 laps now. Late models normally run a 20 lap feature, but of course, Due to time restrictions tonight, we have a lot of races to run, so we've elected to run them 15 instead of 20. On the pole, the Direct Auto Parts, Winnipeg Engine and Transmission 71, Leo Felius, a longtime racing veteran here at the Speedway. And green flag is out, here we go, we're racing. Oh, heads up, strand hard into the 71 car. Oh boy, here comes the 5 e of Edgington. It's wild back there. Ricky Weiss looking for position. So far it's Mike McCoggan out front in the Hooters number 77X. Oh, 
Oh boy, McCoggan heads up. Troubles in turn number one and two. Yellow flag is out. Well, McCoggan went into turn one, bounced like a motocross bike. I'd never seen a car come off that far just turning left. That, of course, resulted in a loss of control and collected several other cars, but I don't know, I can't quite see over there if there's a big hole in turn one or not, but McCoggan went in there and just absolutely bicycled the car. That thing got some air, no question about it. There's McCoggan right now in the Hooters Mitten 77X, also sponsored by Dr. Hook Towing, getting things checked out. That is gonna be rough on those suspension systems in that car. All right, it looks like two down, 13 to go here. Our safety crew off the top of turn number two, assisting some of our competitors. Looks like Leo Felius is in the 71 and he is rolling once again. George Balkan in the 54 car, sponsored by Ream and Balkan and Sons Plumbing and Heating. An ex Tom Balkan race car. George Balkan, who drives a super stock here at the wheel right now of the 54 car. All right, once again, McCoggan coming to a stop on the front straightaway. Something obviously wrong with that car that our official can't see, but of course there's plenty of bodywork on those particular cars and there could be something underneath, obviously, a broken shock, maybe a shock mount. Who knows? But that was pretty wild for Mike McCoggan in turn number one. Don't forget the new billboard on the back straightaway. Famous Dave's open right now in Transcona. It is busy, so if you want to go check it out, a happening place, Famous Dave's in Transcona. First time they've ever expanded out of the United States and chose Winnipeg. And I'm hearing rave reviews about Famous Dave's. All right, so 13 on the board. I think we're gonna go racing next time around. Mike McCoggan in the 77X will resume this race at the back. Obviously, that was his yellow. Now it's Felius up front. We're racing, here we go. Strand on the loud pedal. Bill Mooney is flying in the McPhillips Toyota 2M. Oh, heads up. What a job by Bill Mooney as the 71 and the 7 collect each other and Mooney gets on the binders and did a great job there. That could have been a huge accident. Elias is flying. Here comes Shane Edgington, the Avonlea Group of Companies 5E gets by the 71 with a nice job driving. Mike McCoggan off the pace in the 77X. And he pulls it off. Mike Bolkin now battling with the 7W of Weiss.
great battle going on between the 7W, the 10, and the McPhillips Toyota number two. Five to go, Phileas continues to lead here. Drawing Schill out of Grand Forks. In the second spot, third is Edgington. That's a great race as well. Walt Morris at the bottom of turn four draws a yellow flag. Well, this certainly could be an interesting finish here as we will go nose to tail in a Delaware style restart, the Winnipeg Dodge. Winnipeg Collision Center number nine rolling once again in turn number four. All right, 10 down, five to go here in your late model makeup feature. So in the number one spot still, Leo Felius, the direct auto parts, Winnipeg Engine 71. Then it's the Forks Finest Auto Body and Car Wash 11 of Troy Schill at a Grand Forks. Third, the Avonlea Group of Companies, also sponsored by Mobile One Racing. Shane Edgington is third. Then it is the 71 of Dustin Strand, fourth. That's exactly where he started. Fifth spot, 7W Ricky Weiss, who started eighth. Mike Balkan next and he started seventh in the 10 car. Well, an early start here tonight at Red River Co-op Speedway. Of course, we started at 7 p.m. We have six classes of racing set to come your way today. Working on our third and final makeup feature from last Thursday night here. Then we will return to our regular program. You did see tonight's racing for street stocks. Those, of course, were heat races. All right, one more to go here. All right, looks like we're gonna go single file style this time around. We have nine laps down, six to go on the Pepsi board. Leo Felius is gonna lead him to the flag and try and hold on for six more circuits. Here we go in the late models. Keep your eyes on the 71 car of Strand, he's moving. Vulcan looking good in the 10 car up to fourth. Vulcan has found something in the Silmac Emory Demolition 10 car. Four to go for Phileas. Roy Schill gonna try the 71 on for size. But Felius pulls away once again. Mike Balkin now working on third spot. Ricky Weiss right there as well. Here comes Balkin, wow! Troy Schill on the inside of the 71. We've got racing all over the track here. Very impressive finish here. White flag is out, one to go.
Vulcan and Weiss get together. Oh boy, yellow flag is out on the racetrack. Green-white checkered situation likely here. Looks like the 71 Dustin Strand spun in turn number four. Bringing out the yellow flag here with two to go. Well, Leo Felius at times looked like he's gonna get past and then is powered away from the field with two laps to go. He's got a great shot here starting in the number one spot, but Troy Show right there as well. Balkan and Edgington and Weiss have been having a great battle all 15 laps or 14 laps long. The Sportsman's Lodge, Todd's Electric 71 pulls up on the front chute. Tough break for the 71. I know you like tacky drags, Darren, but I want you to look at all the bodies on these cars as they come by. And I'll show you what a one-lane racetrack does to race cars, look. Absolutely, no, it's tough to pass out there today. There's no question about it. Especially when the race is shortened by five laps and then we go single file. The only time there was a race was when they were two abreast at the starts. Right. All right, well, we are single file style. We're gonna go green-white checkered here in the late model division. 71, the 11, the five, the 10, and the seven are your top five currently here. Dennis Korn puts his yellow flag away. Green flag is out, we're racing. Looked like half the field wasn't ready. Yellow flag is out. Well, I don't know what happened there, Pat Mooney, but it looked like the only guy ready there was the leader, the 71. Green flag came out. Not sure if a miscommunication happened or what, Pat, but wow. Still gonna be green-white checkered. We did not get any laps in that time, so 13 down, two to go. Now, no yellow flag in the hands of Dennis Korn, only a green one, so we should be going green this time around. Now, the field looks tighter than it did last time, so I think everybody is ready here. Very unusual situation, last lap. All right, green, white, checkered. Here we go to finish off your third and final makeup feature. Green flag is out. Bryce Schill gets a good drive off turn two. Edgington is off the pace. Weiss goes around him. Tough break for Shane Edgington as he pulls it into the infield. White flag is out, one to go. flag your winner for the first time ever I believe in a late model at least in the modern era Leo Felius direct auto parts Winnipeg engine and transmission 71 starts on the pole and takes the late model victory 15 laps later All right, well, your winner, the 71, Leo Felius heading to the scale area. 2,300 pounds, the minimum weight on these particular late models. You can weigh as much as you like, but you can't weigh 22.99 or less. Trucks up next, we're gonna return to our regular Thursday night program. Of course, we saw the street stock heats to start the night out. Then we moved into the super stocks, modifieds, and late model makeup features. So those are done. Now we're gonna slide right back into our regular Thursday night program. We have six classes racing here tonight.